Hello everyone, welcome to part number 11 of the Remaking Door series. Today what we're going to be going over is how to make the lights flicker when uh, Rush is coming, as well as how to make Rush not just show up on room number 2, because if you go ahead and look in our generation script, you can see um, we have it set to just room number, if room number equal equals 2, then we make him come. We, we can change that so that it gets um, where he could come like every third you know room so like room three room six so like every three rooms so room three room six room nine room 12 room 15 and you can set it to whatever you want so first off let's get right into this so so we're going to go down to the bottom of our generation script where we say where we get the room number and we're going to change this to if room number percent three equal equals zero then so let's go ahead and test this out. So now it should be on room three, but it should also be on room six, nine, 12, all that stuff. So let's just make sure that it comes on room three. So room two, is this locked? No, okay. So it should come right now. And it does. <laughs> There we go. Alrighty. Great. So now that is working. So now every third room, it should spawn. So now that we have that working, let's make the lights flicker when, um, when rush is coming. So to do this, what we can do is we can, inside of all of our possible hallways, we have a folder that holds all of our lights. We made it in a previous episode. I'm not sure what episode we did, but we made a folder called lights that has every one of our lights in it. So what we could do is we're going to go inside of our generation script. And let's think, what could we do? Rush.new. Hmm. Hmm. So let me just see something really quick. Okay. All right. If room number percent three leaves. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll say local target room equals um, generated rooms. So what this is getting, we're getting the folder generated room. So all the way up here, you could see that we have the folder generated rooms in workspace. So we're not getting the table that we created, which is a lowercase generated rooms. We're getting the actual folder generated rooms inside of workspace. So we'll say local target room equals generated rooms. Let me think here, actually. Um, actually, no, we can't do that. We have to say this. We have to say for I room in pairs generated rooms, the folder colon get children do if room. Well, and actually, we'll do this. We'll say. Um, local targets room and then we'll leave that blank we won't set it equal to anything and we'll say if room dot hold up I'll say this really quick let me just see what the the value is called again uh, what is it called what is it called room val okay if room dot room val dot value equal equals um, Hmm. Equal equals room num. Then um, we will flicker the light. So let's just say uh, print flicker because let's just see if we actually can get the uh, correct room. So we'll so go ahead and play. And when we go to room number three, we should um, it should just print flicker lights or whatever we put in there. What do we say? Yeah, print flicker. All right, so it should just print flicker down here. So let's see. So we're room one. Let's go to room two. And let's go to room three. So it should print. Oh, hold on. We have to find the key. Oh, there it is. And it should print flicker. And there's no flicker. <laughs> oh, wait, there is a flicker. Okay, but it only printed after the rush.new function. So we'll... We'll put it, um, 
put it before the rush.new function. So we'll say local target room. Okay. Let's set the target room to room equals room. And then what we could say is we can say local lights folder equals we'll actually throw in we'll just throw in a quick little wait right here we'll say lights folder equals target room colon find first child lights so we're getting that lights folder we'll then, we'll then say if lights folder then for i light in pairs lights folder colon get children do and then we'll give them so we'll, we're gonna flicker the lights but then let's give them some time to react so we'll give them three seconds until rush comes when the lights flicker to hide so we can say if lights folder then for i light in pairs lights folder colon get children do um in each of these rooms you could see that uh it's we have it as a part and then the point light so we'll say so this is referencing the part so we'll say for i light in pairs. if you had like a model if you had them set to models um you would just do the same thing that you hear except you would get so we'll just say um local point light equals light colon find first child point wait find for find for child which is a point light if point light then so if you had a model like let's say this was a model let's just group it here so i can show you it would be kind of simple because if you did four i light in pairs it would be referencing the model so what you would do here instead is you say light dot part so the light is the model the part is the part inside of it and then we're getting the point light inside of the part that's if you had it as a model but we don't have it as a model so we can just ungroup that we'll then say if point light then um here we say point light dot enabled equals true and then we could just say um <clears throat> wait 0 0.0 how long do we want to wait in between the flickers? Uh, 0.05, and then we'll disable it. We'll just paste this like a couple times. Okay, and let's get a, a little flicker sound. So we'll say light flicker. Let's put this inside a generation script and we will just name this light flicker and then let's go back down here we could say local new sound equals script dot light flicker colon clone new sound dot parent equals light so we're not putting it inside of the point light because it won't play if it's not inside of a point light we're gonna put it inside of that part then we could just say new sound colon play and then we can just say game colon get service to breeze colon add item new sound new sound dot time length so we're gonna add new sound we're basically destroying it after it plays is what we're doing so once that happens um we'll wait three seconds and then we will send rush so we're waiting three seconds to give the player a chance to hide when the lights flicker so let's just go ahead and see if this works. So room zero, room one, room two, and room three. Oh, there, I need a key. Let's see. And it's not working. Part is not a valid member of. Oh, wait, I forgot to change this back to just. Same thing. Okay. <clears throat> Let's 
So room one, we need another key. And room number three. So I think the lights might flicker on this room. And if that is, then we'll just, we'll make some code things. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, at least the lights do flicker and then Rush comes up in here. But we don't want the lights to flicker in the previous room. We want it to flicker in the next room. So what we could say is, if room that room val that value equals room num plus one so what we're doing is we're getting the next room so it'll say it'll it's getting the room it's getting third the third room but we're already out of that room so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're going to say room num plus one so we're just gonna get the next room and one other thing i just want to add maybe like one more thing here and then that should be good Go ahead and test this out now. Ready to get key. Oh, coin. Ooh, another coin. Alright. Room number two. And then room number three. And now this room's light shouldn't flicker. The next room's light should flicker. Uh oh, room's light's flickering. Rush is coming. We don't have any closets yet, but when we do, we'll make it so you can die. But as you can see, you die to Rush when the, you know, timer is up and he comes and uh, kills you. If you want, we could do actually both rooms. I'll actually show you how to do it. So we're going to take all of this and we're going to just make it as a function. So we'll say, um, let's bring it up here. We'll say, bring it to the top. We'll say function, flicker, lights. And we will just throw in lights. I think that should be good. Let me think here. Yeah, it should be good. All right. So get all of this. You can go ahead and hit Control uh, X on it to cut it. And then we'll paste it inside of here. And then um, we'll say light. And then we'll say point light. Right here. So this will be the part. So we'll actually, let's name this part and then let's name this and then we'll keep that point light. So, um, yeah, it should be good. All right, now let's scroll down here and we could say local next room and then local previous room. So what we'll do, we'll set the next room to that and then we'll set and we'll say else if, <clears throat> room dot room val dot value equal equals room num because this is what we don't need to add or subtract we'll set the previous room to that room then we could say local lights folder blah 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 um Get rid of this. Get rid of this. We'll run the function, so we'll say flicker. Set over the point light, so we're setting over the part in the point light. So we'll say, um, um, let me think here. We'll just say pre room lights folder. And then we could just say, um, let me think here actually, cause I mean, we could just do it like this. Let's just do it like this. We'll keep it simple. So we'll do the previous room. And then as well as that, we will also do the next room. Um, yeah, it should work. Um, I'm trying to just see here because there's going to be a wait in between them. Because if you do, if you do next room lights folder. Then it's gonna, it's good. There's gonna be a wait in between them, I think. Let's see. So this is 
zero. Um, two and then three. I mean, that looks pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And then it comes after three seconds. <laughs> So, honestly, I think that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I like how that looks, actually. Let's just test it one more time. And let's just go ahead and see. Zero. Don't mind that dummy. Looks like it's over here. And room number three, so these lights should flicker and the next rooms. Uh-oh, lights flickering. And then we don't have anywhere to hide. <laughs> and we die to rush. So, that is how you make lights flickering in your uh, doors game. This is part number two to the Rush AI. Um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave any questions or concerns in the comments below. I've seen a lot of suggestions. I really appreciate all these suggestions. Um, they will all show up in a future episode, especially closets. I know I keep saying that we're going to add closets, but I just want to get all of the stuff out of the way, like all of the Rush AI stuff out of the way, and then I will add closets. But I'm pretty sure this is all for the Rush AI. I think we should be good on adding closets next episode. But I saw some comments saying, how do I make the lights flicker for when Rush is coming? This is how you do it. Um, so again, leave any questions and concerns in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.